Hi, I'm Jacob. This is the Preppers Bunker Outdoors. I'm going to start doing some um, um, vlogs or video logs for the Hidden Hauler Homestead. That's going to be the name of our little, uh, our little homestead operation here. We've got two really exciting things to show you guys today. Um, but first, I'll give you a little update on all of our animals and our setup. Um, I mean, we have to redo some fencing. I'll be showing you that pretty soon here. Um, the goats are doing great, aren't you? Yes, Kimber. She's doing fantastic. Scudley, a fat beast looking for food like usual. But anyways, all right. So we've got two updates to show you. Um, the first one is I got a new tractor, so I'll go show that to you. So the tractor. So I was looking at getting a riding lawnmower. We we're probably gonna put it on credit and get a new one um, because we've had a, some jankety ones for a long time. And they're, you know, between $1,500 and $2,000. And I was reading the reviews and long story short, it started out with people complaining about the warranties not being all that great. To me doing some actual research of people doing some actual work with them and not being impressed to thinking, well, I bet I could get a little gas garden tractor for about the same price. So, here you go. I will show you the Alice, this is a 1940 Alice Chalmers B. It's not original, but uh, let's check it out. This old tractor is a joy to operate so far. You just turn the gas on. Crank your key, pull out your choke, and hit your ignition. Just like that, old girl fires right up the light. So I'll get to mowing now and uh, show you how she cuts. Need some help from Alice Chalmers people. Cranks up right away, runs fine, and randomly dies in about a second. And uh, this is kind of a bummer, so I'll crank it up and show you. So much for that. So uh, while driving, I was watching the temperature. It never even got up to 170 on this gauge. Oil pressure uh, stayed normal. So if you're an Alice Chalmers guy or a tractor guy in general, understands very basic wiring. I'm sure this is some small electrical issue. Give me a heads up on where I should start looking. This is... Shouldn't be surprised, but uh, anyways, on to the next surprise. This is Dixie, the Great Pyrenees, the fearless guard warrior. She is a wonderful dog, except when it comes to chickens. She likes ripping chickens apart. I'm gonna be honest, with her affection for ripping chickens apart, I would actually prefer it if she ate them, but she doesn't. 
Anyway, so we keep chickens out of here. Here's Scudley. Scudley the cuddly goat. He's a weather, so I had to band him, and uh, he no longer has any cojones. He's a sweetheart. Uh, he was actually disbudded when he was very young, and his horns came back full of vigor, which is what led us to decide to not disbud. All right, and then we've got our girl over here. Kimber! Oh, Kimber! Oh, she's the stud. No, actually, that's not the right term, but she's daddy's little girl, I guess. We just had to pull a tick off of her girl parts. Little sassy thing. Oh, yeah. She likes the scratches. And then, General Patton. What's up? Yeah! What's up? These are, uh, if I didn't mention or you don't already know. Stop. Ow. Come on, Scud. These are Nigerian dwarf goats. You fool. Nigerian dwarf goats, so we're going to use them for milk. And so he's going to make babies with her. And uh, we get, uh, so far we've gotten all of our goats from Just Kidding Around Ranch. They're down in Tennessee. And Kimber is half Flannery Farms keepsakes and half Double Durango. And Lil Patton is all Double Durango. So I'm just gonna play a couple more clips and post some pictures, a little patent for you guys to enjoy here. Come here, Jibo. 